Hello guys, my name is Puneet Sharma and you're welcome to Gadget Masters. Today I'm gonna talk about Philips Gorgir Mix MP3 player. Firstly and foremostly we will discuss some basic features of it, how to use it, navigate through menus and later on we will discuss the pros and cons and in the end we will see whether you should considering buy it or not. Without wasting much time, let's get started. So this is the blue, this is the same old blue color unit that I ordered earlier. I have done a separate unboxing and physical overview video. For those who haven't watched, I'll post the link. You can watch that. So quickly I will tell you the specifications of this. It's got a 1 inch OLED display. It's got a 4 GB internal memory. It's got a full size USB port for data syncing as well as charging. FM radio built-in support, voice recording and other bunch of features such as fast charging etc. We will talk about them later on in the video. So I have used it for the few days and then I am posting this review. First uh, let's take a look at its uh, menus. This button at the top works as a back button. You can press it to go back through menus. And this is center button is OK button. So and these two buttons are used for navigation up and down. This is the menu, uh, music menu, all songs, so, uh, and the list of songs will appear. And you can play it by hitting the play and pause button, the center one button. That will work as a play and pause button. And on other side there are two volume rockers. And so this is the list of songs we can go back by pressing the up button. And this is the main uh, menu view. The first option that comes is a music, radio, recordings, folder view. And when we uh, settings, so in settings there are various types of settings like play mode. You can set the play mode repeat or shuffle on off and uh, then again sound settings uh, full sound uh, volume limit volume limit is by default set to 8 but we can increase it using the volume records and then pressing the ok button so the highest volume limit is 16 so we can press ok and volume limit will be set and this uh, is only for the sound settings and if we go back the uh, display settings uh, screen off timer by default is 40 seconds, but we can customize the screen off timer too by ourselves. And then, uh, if we go back in the uh, there are language language informations. Uh, information always show the amount of free memory and total memory firmware version etc. These types of details are support site. Um, so if we talk about its pros and cons. I would say the pros will be is from a good reputed brand Philips. The Philips is quite a known brand in music industry, so no complaints on the quality wise. Good plastic use. Personally, I like it. It's kind of pretty lightweight and handy as well. The company has provided this unit with a direct USB port, so it eliminates the need to carry extra charging and data syncing cables, which is good plus. It supports fast charging, so if we need the quick charge in hurry. The battery backup is also pretty decent on average, full charge it will last up to 14 to 15 hours of playback. The OLED display on this unit is quite a good, the sunlight visibility is very good and it helps a lot. The clip holder is also practical in design, we can clip it on our clothes, sleeves, wherever you like. So it provides us safety so that our unit may not get dropped or damaged by physically damage by dropping it got a full it uses the full sound technology which is good for enhancing the quality of music it produces it also supports FM radio and can be developed as a pen drive if needed because it got a full size USB port you can directly plug it in computer and drop files you need it to carry it also got the voice recording so if you want to need record voice so now speaking about the cons, the only con which I personally found is the quality of accessories it is provided with. Accessory, I mean to say the headphones. The, the headphones with the, this unit is not up to the mark or not up to the quality we expect with an MP3 player. They are not flat cable type, the tip is not gold plated and they are not in air style. And the bass levels and sound clarity levels are just okay okay 
so you have if you want to really enjoy the kind of music this device can produce i suggest go buy some good quality headphones from the market you can easily get a good quality headphones in around thousand to two thousand rupees so invest it's a good investment if you want to truly enjoy what this little monster can do this is the only one which i found and other people may also complain about that it's only got 4 gb internal but i think is you don't need more memory than mp3 player 4 GB means you can carry 1000 songs who listens to 1000 songs at once in my personal opinion nobody needed more than 1000 songs at once so, some people will definitely complain about the 4 GB so these are the only cons that i found so the main question whether you should buy it or not from my side I'll simply say thumbs up. I found it pretty good, lightweight, good quality, and a useful product. So no complaints about that. But you need an extra good quality headphones to enjoy this unit. Seriously. Uh, but that's gonna cost more thousand or two thousand bucks. So guys, that's it from my side. This is Punish Sharma signing off for today. Like us, subscribe us, and hit the little bell on the side of subscribe button to get notification for our early video. Take care, guys.